This video is brought to you by Skillshare. As you may know, Blender's default tools often lack that simple, one-click solutions for basic tasks like cutting corners or quickly bridging faces. And this is where Coursera's incredible collection of free Blender add-ons for modeling comes in. And this is exactly the topic of today's video. So together, we're gonna take a look at some of the best free add-ons from this Blender developer. Before we continue, I have to tell you that 2024 has been an interesting year, especially for learning. And as we approach the end, in December, I want to finish this year with revisiting the basics of lighting. And as you probably know, lighting is something that can make or break your projects. That's why I've decided to tell you about this class from Skillshare. Basically, Skillshare is one of the largest online learning platforms for creatives offering thousands of classes led by industry experts across fields like 3D, 2D, animation, photography, and more. The class I'm telling you about is from Kaiwan Shaban, and it focuses on lighting in Blender. It covers his process, techniques, and how to effectively manage lighting in your projects. If you want to learn more about the topic, I highly recommend you check out his class. And if lighting isn't your thing, Skillshare has a ton of other courses and classes that you can explore. Plus, the first 500 people who click the link in the description will get a free one-month subscription to Skillshare and have access to as many classes as they like. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Connect Face, which simplifies filling faces between selected edges. Instead of struggling with manual adjustments, you can quickly create connections between geometry, which is great. So all you have to do is select the edges you want to connect and the add-on handles the rest, making complex shapes and smooth surfaces easier to achieve. Next up is Select Sim, which is a handy Blender add-on for speeding up your selection process. And this tool allows you to select similar elements like faces, edges, or vertices based on properties such as orientation, area, and even material. It is actually a huge time saver for repetitive tasks, especially when working on detailed models. Instead of manually picking up similar components, you can just let this add-on handle it, because honestly it is simple, efficient, and great for a clean workflow. Next up is Attach Align which is a super handy Blender add-on for snapping and aligning geometry. The way I see it is, whether you are attaching one piece to another, aligning edges, or sliding geometry along an edge, this tool can keep things clean and precise. You can attach faces, align edges, and even slide geometry for those fine-tuned adjustments. Plus, it integrates very smoothly with Blender without interfering with other tools, making it a solid choice for your day-to-day -day modeling tasks. Next up is an add-on called Cut Corner, which is a practical add-on designed for adding sharp, precise corner cuts in your models. Generally, I think it is ideal for sci-fi models, spaceships or spaceship parts, or even hard surface designs of any kind, and this tool works directly on selected faces and merges duplicate vertices automatically, which is great, because sometimes you can't see them. And you don't have to worry after performing the cuts. You can extrude corners to add more details. In addition, it pairs perfectly with Face Cutter or Blender's Knife Tool for creating those complex hard surface details without a lot of trouble. Now, let's talk about Basic Edge Shader, which is an add-on all about creating stylized edge effects directly in Blender. It lets you easily highlight the edges of your models, add in a bold, comic book, or cell shaded look. You can tweak the edge's thickness, color, and the intensity to match your project style. This one is great for concept art or animation, and it is a quick and fun way to make your renders pop with a unique style. The next add-on is called Light Banner, which adds a point light and a textured plane to your scene in a short period of time. The plane follows the light's movement and rotations, creating dynamic patterns using wave, noise, or image textures. Generally, this one is great for achieving stylish global lighting effects like window shadows or geometric highlights in your cycle's renders. Plus, you can always tweak texture properties and shadow softness to get the extra look that you're going for. Moving on, 
let's check out the curve face color add-on. Basically, this tool allows you to easily add vibrant color gradients across your geometry by using curves. I think this is a great way to enhance visual depth and make your models more dynamic for free. You can fully control the gradient transitions, offering plenty of customizations for creative shading effects. This is especially useful if you are working on abstract designs or stylized environments, and this add-on makes experimenting with colors simple and fun. So this is gonna definitely help if you are interested in these kind of stuff. Now let's move to the next add-on called Slow Bevel. This experimental tool takes a different approach to beveling. Because, instead of the usual one-click bevel, this add-on allows for a step-by-step -step adjustment, giving you final control over how the bevel interacts with your geometry. This one is gonna be interesting for precise edge work, or when you are testing out specific designs. From what I can see, while it's not built for massive workloads, it can be a handy little tool to have when you want more control over your bevels, because it is simple and fun. Next we have Safe Inset, and this add-on basically shines when the other Blender default tools actually stumble. It basically prevents overlapping geometry during insets, making it great for working on uneven or intricate surfaces. So I think it's gonna be good for dealing with panels or refining edges, and the add-on ensures clean topology and minimum distortions. And for anyone dealing with complex models and aiming for polished results, this add-on I think is gonna be straightforward and reliable too. The next add-on is called Shadow Cut which is for creating randomized fracture patterns. So, as the name suggests, this tool is great for adding shattered effects, like broken glass or fragment surfaces to your models. And all you need to do is select your mesh, tweak a few parameters, and the add-on generates intricate cuts for you. And that's it. The next add-on is called Face Regulator, which is handy for reshaping and tweaking faces on your mesh. It basically allows you to adjust the proportions, angles, and alignment of selected faces with precision. So whether you are refining details or experimenting with geometric styles, this add-on called Face Regulator gives you easy control without disrupting your workflow. It is simple but effective too, which makes it great. Next up there is Even Triangulation, and as the name suggests, it is a tool that is all about generating uniform and clean triangles on your mesh. This is gonna be great for ensuring evenly distributed geometry, which is crucial for smooth deformation during animation or detailed sculpting work. The add-on helps keep consistent triangulation, making your models look neat and structured, and I think it is decent for optimizing performance or refining surface quality. And now, let's talk about Soft Bevel, which is an add-on designed to tackle the common issue of overlapping geometry when beveling. This experimental tool actually creates smooth, rounded edges without the usual self-overlapping problems that you might face with Blender's default bevel. And this one is especially handy for boolean cut details or when crafting organic, rounded shapes. With straightforward controls, it simplifies adding clean bevels to your models, making it a valuable tool for more polished designs. Now, we're gonna talk about another add-on called Surface Inflate which is an add-on that reshapes your mesh using two modes. Inflation modes for great circulation inflation and Bezier curve mode for flexible, normal-based inflations. Inflation mode requires two faces to define the axis, making it ideal for evenly spaced shapes, while Bezier curve mode offers customizable inflations across selected faces using full control points enabling precise adjustments. This makes the add-on versatile when it comes to working on irregular angles or faces across surfaces, making it a solid choice for organic designs. Next up we have Visual Axis, which makes it easy for you to visualize and manage alignments and rotations directly in the viewport. This tool enhances clarity by providing customizable axis guides, which are especially useful for precise modeling, animating, or positioning elements. By improving spatial orientation, it eliminates confusion and simplifies adjustments, and for tasks where accuracy is key, this add-on is something that you should highly consider, especially knowing it is free. 
Next we have Quick Bridge, a Blender add-on simply designed for bridging edges or faces effectively. So this tool makes it easy to connect elements in your mesh. Whether you are closing gaps or creating smooth transitions between different objects, its simplicity actually is in its strength, providing clean geometry without the need for additional tweaking. From what I can see, it is gonna be a good choice for anyone working with intricate meshes or needing some quick and accurate connections to bridge between faces or edges. The next one is called Mirror Copy, which is a simple yet effective add-on for creating symmetrical duplicates in Blender. Basically, it lets you mirror and copy objects across any axis with just a few clicks, because otherwise, what's the point? The add-on integrates smoothly into your workflow, which can save you time and make it even more effective, if you can imagine. And this is important especially when working on characters, vehicles, or maybe some architectural designs or whatever project you're working on. Another interesting add-on is called Quick Fillet, which as you can imagine, can help you create smooth, rounded edges with minimal effort. The tool works by detecting sharp angles to separate edge shots, which you can fine-tune if needed. It is actually accessible via the right-click menu in the edit mode, and the add-on simplifies achieving clean and polished geometry in your projects. It is a simple add-on but really effective. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.